When I first started out in Ruby, and I believe many others were the same way, I had a problem with what the initialize method does. And that's what I'm here to show you guys today. So now that I understand it, I want to help you guys understand it and simplify it for you because there's not a whole lot of videos that simplify it. So we're gonna go and create a class of a fish and have an ATTR accessor of name. So that is an attribute there. If you guys don't know how classes work or how this ATTR accessor works, video links in the description below. I've already made videos on that topic. So we're gonna go and use the def initialize method here. And what this allows you to do, instead of creating an object and then giving it attributes after it's created, it allows you to initialize the object with the parameters passed in. So uh, upon creation, we can give this fish a name right off the bat. And we will basically do at name equals name. And this allows us to do you know, call the at name in the class and we can actually build it. So I'll show you what I mean by that now. So just to test this out to make sure it works, we'll do a greeting and we'll do puts at name. Okay, so now that our class is created, very simple fish class, it just is gonna have a name and we're gonna call a name. So we're gonna do fish one equals fish dot new. So that's gonna create a new object, but since we have this initialize method in it, with this here, this name, we can actually create a name right off the bat. So we're gonna call this fish Bobby with a Y, not an IE, but a Y. So this should you know, assign this new fish one a name of Bobby. So now when we do fish one dot greeting, it should return Bobby. So let's go ahead and try that now in the terminal window here. So we're going to do Ruby class dot RB because that's what my files named and it returned Bobby. So it worked. So I'll go ahead and do one more just to show you guys that you can have more than one. So if you wanted to also give it an age, we could do that as well. So we would just have to make sure to update all these little areas here and we can do, we can just call it age and puts at age and okay. So this should return whatever age we get it we give it. So what we would do here, since we have two attributes we can assign it, two parameters, attributes here, we can do Bobby's the name and the age is two. So it's a two year old fish and its name is Bobby. And just to test that, we would do fish1.age since that's our new method and it puts our age we just assigned it. So let's go ahead and try that. So it should return Bobby on the first line and then it should return two on the second line. So let's go ahead and do that now. So we will run the class again and there it goes Bobby right here and then two here. So it did work out. That's the initialize method, pretty cool. If you guys have any questions, be sure to let me know down in the comment section below. And I will see you guys next time. I upload programming videos every single day of the week. Ruby, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Ruby on Rails framework, Node, all kinds of good stuff. I'll see you guys next time. The Code Father is out. Peace.